Good kitten internet. Turns out my green shirts do in fact show up behind my green screen. It's a different enough shade. And welcome back to Wild Arms 2, where we need to do some more prep on Ashley because we have a problem. Uh, that is to say that we're going to have a battle coming up where Ashley will reach 100 force points. So what we're going to do is to make sure that doesn't happen. Unfortunately, that involves getting a second status effect on Ashley. Which is what we're going to go do. How's it going? Uh, today's the day after the previous video was recorded, so that's the 26th, 25th. Uh, I don't know. Days blur together during pandemic. Uh, 24th. It is snowing outside. Oh, let me move the green screen over. You can sort of see the snow on the ground. It actually kind of looks green. Huh. And partially transparent. Uh, I assure you, there's snow on the ground. Um. Isun's just curled up asleep somewhere. So. There's a couple of spots that we can do to go to... Um, to get the status effect. I think I'm going to do the faster method. Faster, but riskier method. Okay. So... So we're going to Arkheim. Arkheim because Tim can easily kill everything. Honestly, Loka could probably kill everything more easily than Tim. Yeah, come to think of it, Loka can kill everything faster than Tim. I'm gonna have I'm gonna swap Tim and Loka really fast. Alright, Arkheim. That's Slayheim, right? That is our time. Okay. Get in. All right. We're looking for fighting a dust man. Again, I'm highly, I am heavily using the guide to make this work. Generate a random battle already. Thank you. You're a reanimator. That's not at all what I want. Actually, have I even bought one of those? I don't remember looking them up. Reanimator. They don't really have much money. So, the way I'm actually recording this, there we go, it's a little difficult for me to hit fast forward, because I usually have a different window that's active, and because of my dual screen setup and the way this works, there we go, there's the dustman. Alright, what attack am I supposed to use? Um... Supposed to use the best one of those. Okay. Let's actually get Tim in here as well. Make this a little faster because what I'm going to do. Right. Mystic Light Ring. Get rid of the Evil Deads. Dustman A is my target. You're going to turn undead Dustman B.
turn. Okay. Got that. Let's take Loka out of the party. Supposed to attack it twice. Now we need to wait for it to use a specific ability on it, actually. Okay. So let's... Accelerator... Defensor. Just using up force points, basically. That's the ability we wanted. Because we want Ashley to have both forgetfulness and downhearted. So what's that? what that does for us is that we're going to have, um, what should we call it? Um, we're going to have the ability to gain force power a little slower than normal, which should let us survive. Okay. Let's leave Archim because I don't actually care about being here anymore. I'm going to have to come back to a lot of places when we get our last character. And uh, let's teleport and go to Maria. It's been a while since I've been in Maria. See how the bakery's doing, lacking, you know, one of the daughters. The only daughter? I think Marina is an only child. I know that Marina believes in you. So go to her now before she's completely overwhelmed by her anxiousness. Um, she's not here. I don't know if you noticed, she's been kidnapped. See? No Marina. Anyway, we're going to fill some press caps. I forgot to grab something to drink before this stream. Whoops. That's over here. All right, these are level ones. Is it three rising shines? Yes. Don't know why I need three of those. Um, let's go ahead and make a level two spell. Vortex or Aqua. Go to Vortex. Okay. Uh, we need apparently a whole bunch of antidotes and violet roses. Okay. Probably have enough, but let's find out. Oh, you actually sell Violet Roses, that's right. I have to go to a newer town. Let's check up on personal skills to see how we're doing there. Oh yeah, lots. Hmm. I need to do the video on Let's Analyze Stats Increase because... Oh, that's right. I was going to do that on Ashley. I remember now. But Ashley has up defense. Eh, it'll be fine. It's really hard for me to test defense on these Let's Analyzes, just because defense is so variable. Um... I need to figure out if Richter Bright's ability is based off of magic attack. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm going to do a brief Let's Analyze section. Give me a moment. 
easy enough to do out here. I didn't mean to enter town, dang it me. Just wanna fight balloons. There. All right. Because if this does work, this is an easy way for me to test what the personal skills do later. So I'm going to just choose one. We're gonna go with light. Get a brief idea as to how much damage this does. Two, three, four, nine. Okay. Two, three, four, nine. 388 is your sorcery. I am going to guess it's 6x sorcery. Easy way to find out. 6x plus or minus a percentage, that is. Now let's drop the sorcery down as much as we can, which is bad. Uh, so now it's 353. Same abilities twice. Two one six zero. Yep, it is totally six x sorcery. Sweet, that makes things easier. Okay. The reason why I wanted to check that now is that that means that I can still increase Tim's man. I can increase anybody's. So, let me backtrack. I was concerned that I would have to worry about, like, going in here and increasing magical attack. I was worried that I wouldn't have a way of testing. I mean, save state. Tim, go ahead and increase magic attack. Remember, I did 2160 before, and I'm keeping my book unequipped at the moment. Let's get one more battle. Ooh, that's going to make it really hard for me to test with him later. I just realized. I can't spend their personal skills yet. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. That did less damage. Well, I'm gonna not worry about that. I'll just leave the personal skills for the time being. Sorry about the distraction. Um, Tim, you can go ahead and re-equip. Ashley, what is your luck right now? Bad. How many tiny flowers do I have? Six, I have enough, okay. I'm going to take three lucky flowers to increase Ashley up to best. Oh, wow, everybody else is at best. Huh. It's a shame that I'm probably going to end up sleeping in between. There we go. And how many? Violet Rose, 13. That should be fine. Okay. Got everything on the list. We need to go to the Lost Garden. Right. Teleport Valeria Chateau. Then teleport to the Hovercraft, because that actually puts the Hovercraft in a different spot. I'm oh, so weird. We've actually been near the Lost Garden before. See where the green dot is? 
This is going to look awfully familiar if you watch some of my footage. This is where we were trying to farm things way back when. So we're actually supposed to be here now. Okay. We need D bison, a hazel sprig, trench coat, sunbird hat, and garamatos. Apparently, he's going to need a very big amount of sorcery. Oh, I need to put Marina's here. I have to save her. I don't know what it'll what I'll do if anything happens to Marina. Probably destroy the world. Control yourself. Panic will only jeopardize the mission, especially with you, scum. Unsettled emotions can't help but eventually explode. Uh. Hey, don't don't keep all that in by yourself. Let's hurry, but keep your cool. We want to save Marina as much as you. Sorry, you guys. I do need your help. I need you to help me save Marina. Wow. Anyway. Bye, Ash. So this is the Lost Garden. Look at those 3D graphics! Is there anything I need to worry about in here specifically? They're recommending 20 to 25 big plus mega. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Simple puzzles. Of course, that's the one that just introduces you to the concept. Can't do anything with that. The heck are you? Gizmos and Uranomes. No Uranome! Mm -hmm. And apparently we should make sure we don't feed Gizmos after midnight. Gizmos! They have... They drop revive fruit and you can pickpocket Mega Berries from them. But they absorb every element of magic, so I can't use magic attacks on them. Cool. Yuri, no. Uh, they are weak against all elements, and I can pickpocket make berries from them. Sweet. I need to rearrange this because Valkyrie needs to be up higher. But I can't do anything about that right now. And I'm two levels off of being able to cast Saber on first round. Actually, that means the answer is FP shift. Sure, dig out. Why not? Yoink. Oh. Oh, hard to hurt. Uh, you seem to do nothing so far. Cool. Ah, you cast Saber. Cool. That's not that much damage. Okay. Go back to pickpocketing that goober. Whack that one in the face. Actually injured. A long time since I've healed, hasn't it? There. 
I'll just start healing. Give me. And Gizmo seemed to do nothing. Your numbs fast saber. Okay. I want mega berries, damn it. I mean, I still have Rick to Brighton equipped. Probably shouldn't, but meh. Gimme, thank you. Zap. Deft. You all just attack and taunt. I could just auto bath this. Saber. Oh, you're faster than cannon now. Cool. Why are you faster than cannon? I can increase your speed. Res 253. Res 234. What the hell? I am so confused right now. Well, that makes this more annoying. Yeah, Luca's definitely faster than Cannon right now. Also, I can't hit with Jack Squat. Well, these always hit, I believe. And Saber definitely always hits. Oh, really. Got a revive fruit. That's nice. But that makes me think that they have an instant death attack, and I don't know what that would be because I never saw them use anything. That's a duplicator chest. Do I have any duplicators? Yes. That's right, I can steal them. Crest ass. We're leaving. The reason why we're leaving just from seeing Crest ass. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's one of the most powerful crest magic. Uh, I can deal without it for now because I'm pretty sure we're going to have a Ashley without anybody else. Why you make noise? Light, light rain starting soon. Good. I guess I'm not going to have too much snow on the ground, unfortunately. The heck are you? Chimera. Okay, and you kind of look like one. Uh, good job, model designers, I guess. Chimeras drop Mega Berries. They pickpocket Heal Berries. I'm just going to kill it. Nothing in damage. Tactless. Nothing. Okay. Hmm. Weird. I would have expected more damage, that's why I'm concerned. 
this is within the control circle of Kana's Randolph the Magic Key, who's keeping the door closed. Control Randolph's magic powers. It's necessary to leave someone here to conduct mental jamming. So we're going to be losing characters throughout this dungeon. It's not great. That's why I'm thinking about just leaving right now. You know what? I'll be fine. So, for reference, I have to use Ashley at the end. Because it requires his tool. Okay, good. They did not shove Ashley in the front. Dimensional graphics! There's nothing else in here. Yep, this lets me drop down to the previous floor, basically. So I can go pick up somebody if needed. Alright. Um, at this point, I think Hannon makes the most sense to leave behind. And Tim will be the last one that I keep. Sorry, Cannon. Actually, just no. Had to think, that's all. Hmm, I don't have much to talk about when it comes to this section of the game. Mostly because I barely remember it, to be honest. Get rid of you. Make an attack, actually. That would be fine. Loka can take out the others easily. Saber is probably what I'm going to end up memorizing for press S for reference. Uh, usually I use a heal spell just because heal S is enough to fully heal most people. I'm probably not going to do that this time. Just to be honest, I'm probably not going to be using Luka for too much longer. I don't know. Thinking. Okay. Yep, I have to raise this. Okay. Phantom Fang acquired! The Phantom Fang is a bayonet cartridge for use with Ashley. This item provides new ammunition for the bayonet. It attacks with single enemy with high voltage energy shells. 
Once more, why do I have to go in my inventory to upgrade Ashley's farm? He's the only character in the game that I have to worry about that. I just realized he's actually damaged. Right. Now we're going to leave Tim behind. I know I had said I was going to leave Luca behind last before, but it actually makes sense for me to leave Tim behind because Tim can't cast Saber. It takes up way too much force power for him to cast his non-elemental spell. Whereas Luca, it takes very little by comparison. I think that makes sense to me at least. Hmm. Definitely needed something to drink. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Ashley, get to the back. Loki can take care of this. Zap. Wonder if they actually have any instant death attacks. Now that I'm thinking about it. Seems like they just don't do any. Yeah, Saber is probably the one that makes the most sense for me to use Press S. Because... Um... Did I miss a step? Hold on a moment. Yep, I totally misread what the recommendation was. Oh well. One moment, I'm gonna be right back. And back. I just undid what I was doing before because, uh, yeah, that's not the way I should have done things. Yeah. Oh, dang it, I just realized what I did. One moment. Trixie Dungeon. So, um, all I did was go all the way back, basically left the dungeon, after leaving the... really? Um, after leaving the dungeon... I'll walk off this side, just in case. Uh, after leaving the dungeon, walking... Alright, going back to Maria Bull, changing memorized spells... Changing Mephemarized spells, specifically the things in the Crest Cat, which are important, um, because I'm supposed to have two slowdown spells in the Crest Cap, not three Rise and Shines, which makes more sense. Don't know if that was a good idea or not. Here's to be fun. That just lets me undo it, okay. All right, now Loka's going to wait here. Oh boy, this part that's gonna suck. Would have loved to have left behind Ashley instead. Oh crap, this might be a problem. Ooh. 
reload. Make it, make it, make it. What do you say? A written challenge for Ashley is carved onto into the stone tablet. To Ashley Winchester, the one who stole my servants, the object of my affection and protector. I have long awaited for the opportunity to have an audience with you in the Land of Promise. Bring me to me, for I will bury your everything. Your tombstone will read, your everything, and I will bury it into the ground. Soon, you will know as I have how it feels to have lost everything. Frozen Lake of Hell, first round. Alright, so I need to get that green thing up. So that is going to rise up. Rise up. Rise down. I need blue up. An additional one. Down. Up. Down. Green. Down. Up. Or down. Up. Down. Damn it, I did need red also. Alright. Blue. And red. No, that's not right. I need just red. Because if red is up to start. Then down. Up. Down. Up. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. There we go. I didn't need to walk there, me. Or did I? Actually, yeah, I did, didn't I? There we go. See, this is the part that forces you to have Ashley, because Ashley's the only one who can do the knife drop. How speedrunners do this section. Where are you, Kana? I'm here, I'm right here. How about returning, Marina? <laughs> so, you think you're the only one who's lost something important? Really hate that. It bugs me so much. Ashley! Marina, come on! I'm gonna save you! Oh, sorry. I usually use the right hand. <laughs> to think that our troubles and the girls are treated the same. To me, no. To Fulgaya, Sir Vincefield was a very important figure. I can't imagine discussing a future that doesn't include him. But it was you! What? Yes, I destroyed Vinsfield. If you want your revenge, I'll fight you. Revenge? Get it all wrong. What I want isn't anything like that. Uh, what? Oh, this hand's being cute. It's a bit messy, but let's see if I can move Kitty Cam to point out where his hand's at. You see him sitting in the cat tree, cleaning himself on a kitty pie, on an unsalted kitty pie. For some reason, he prefers that one. Uh, I shouldn't have moved. Now, yeah, well, that works. What? What I want you to, what I want for you is to experience the same thing I did. You understand? In other words, I want you to experience losing someone is important, just as I did. Marina, run. It is true that a powerful being exists within a human body. This being, Lord Blazer, is controlled by the desire to protect that which he loves. But... This is the same desire to protect is also uh, that which he loves is so invoking his enormous power. Extreme desire may pry off the lid and release its fury, which cannot be. Arms itself might set this force of uncontrollable violence loose upon the world. This overnight be. That's a bad translation. Welcome to our first overnight blazer battle. 
<laughs> Incandescent Flush is a two-step shift from Thermal Overlord. Overload. That's right, Ashley. It's the power of that creature. Uh, this is the power that saves what's important. Wrong, Ashley Winchester. That is the ominous power which steals importance. So, this is the second form. Do you see why I called Ashley Mighty Morphing Power Ashley yet? He has a total of four... Four? Five different forms in this game, and we have seen four of them. We have Ashley, we have Proto Blazer, then Night Blazer, then Overnight Blazer. This is Overnight Blazer. This is what Ashley looks like for basically the entire rest of the game. Ashley actually has new abilities. He has Hot Fencer, which is a Disintegrator Blade. It's his basic attack, basically. He has Gun Blaze, which I believe he had before. He had Banisher, which he also had before. And he has Last Burst, which is the ludicrously overpowered attack that drops Ashley to one hit point. Last Burst is what I use primarily throughout the entire rest of the game at this point on, if it weren't for the fact that I can't let Ashley hit 100 force points. So this battle is going to be a lot harder than normal. Oh, also, I cannot use Guardian abilities while I'm in um, Overnight Blazer form. Um, we're going to, first off, use Crest Gaps. Rise and shine, because... Okay, good. Frame rate is so low! Ah, you can kind of see his spine. Just appreciating the appearance. So yeah, Haina has sleep attacks, so I absolutely need to do stuff. All right. So the magic number for this battle is 700, that is, or 675. If I go below 675 hit points, Kana can one-shot me. So the next step, because I'm above that, is to use my next press cap to slow down Kana, where I can go first. I have to hit. Notice how little damage Kana is doing. That was zero damage on a level 15, Ashley. Yay, it worked. Okay. Why did Kana take 90 damage? All right. So this is a timed battle. And the reason why I say it's a timed battle is that force point gauge. This is the reason why we had to be downhearted. Oh, I'm also poisoned. That's what it is. Um, I'd better cure that poison now that I think about it. Okay. So basically, every time that Kana attacks me, I gain one force point because I'm downhearted. Which means that I have to do this in under 80 attacks. That should be doable at this point. Also, we have multiple battles in a row. All right. Spencer time. We didn't get to use too many of Ashley's abilities. Fine, he's doing 1200 damage at level 15. That's pretty darn good. Ashley's almost the real boy at this point. I am not poisoned, okay. But I do need to use Big Berry. The important part is that I'm first, so I can figure out how many hit points I need to actually deal with. Alright, that will do nothing, because oh boy does Overnight Blazer have a crap ton of defense. Does it actually show me defense right now? 173. I don't think that's actually correct. 
Hot fencer. Getting lucky so far. Bonk, bonk, bonk. I mean, keep attacking me, please. That's great. I just have to do this like 15 times. Right? No poison. I can use Gunblaze now. So, Gunblaze, by comparison, does that. Twice the amount of damage. Nice. Bong. I'm actually doing really well right now. I'm okay with this. Now you can experience the pain of losing something important. My wishes finally come true. <laughs> I took from you what's important to you. I took it away with my own hands. Achievement unlocked. What's left of Utas? I took it from you. I took it from you. He gives this hollow sensation inside. Could it be? Please help me, Sir Vincefield. He did. <sighs> Marina, are you all right? Marina? Don't come any closer. What, what's wrong? Who are you? Who? Maria, I'm... I don't know you. Don't assume Ashley's shape. Don't speak with the same voice. Don't speak so tenderly. Please, return Ashley to me. And Marina breaks down. That's what Kana was after. Kena wasn't really going after Ashley in particular. Kena was trying to go after Marina. Specifically, to make Marina doubt that Ashley is really Ashley. And by turning into the demon, he succeeded. I'm sorry, Marina. Marina, wish I would have spoken to you sooner when I had the chance. Yes, this is why communication is important in any type of relationship whatsoever, damn it. That is a high horse I will not be getting off of. But I couldn't say it because I was scared. I'm sorry, Marina. Please, see what you can do for Marina. Marina! Can't reach him anymore, can I? Guess you won't forgive me after all. Marina, I... No, Ashley wasn't wrong. It's I who was wrong. It's I who can't be forgiven. But Ashley needed support most. I couldn't say anything to him. I'm sorry. It's like I can't do anything right. Why am I so weak? Do not blame... Mm. They're meant for each other because they're both idiots. Anyway, we have lots of cutscene going on. This is back in the sealed region. Big telescope. That's giant gun. I don't know why. Did you measure correctly? Wouldn't intentionally measure incorrectly, would I? Yeah, well, there's no room for error this time, so measure it again. That giant gun did already. No matter how many times I measure, I get the same results. It's a huge thermal nuclear mass. 
near Sector 326, and in Crater Constellation, or, sorry, it's a huge nuclear thermal mass near Sector 326 in the Cradle Constellation, and it's heading for Filgaia. Remember at the end of Disc 1, Vincefield launched a basically started summoning a nuke? Guess what we're dealing with? We matched it against the patterns in Guild Gala, uh, patterns Guild Gala gave us. It looks like the nuclear weapon Groshvine. Groshvine? My German's terrible, by the way. Good lord. That's right, we're about to get nuked. By a comet. Blink, blink, blink. <clears throat> well, moving to the observatory in the Seals region, the nuclear dragon Grashvine, Grashvine is now heading toward Fulgaia at a top speed of 480 unspecified units per unspecified time. Yes, so we are talking about a nuclear dragon, not an actual nuke. What the hell, game? All of a sudden, we went to the Godzilla com comparison for Japan? Uh... The heat given off by Grashvine has a radar jamming effect, preventing precise trajectory determination. It'll take a bit longer to extrapolate the point of impact. Oh, oh fine parting gift this has left us. <laughs> One peril aims to devour Filgaia's, another threatens to blow it up. Both are beyond my under powers of understanding. I'm mad loss. Someone must draw Grashvine away from Filgaia, or... Or what on earth are you getting at, Double G? The nuclear dragon will blow up as soon as he lands. The ancient records say that Grassvine simply is simply an empty reactor when first summoned. He must accumulate energy before initiating a nuclear reaction. That's very interesting, but what good does that information do to us? That's it, Guild God Master! That's the key, Double G! You are indeed astute, sir, right? Perhaps fine. First seek out sources of energy to absorb. That means he could be lured with a high-powered energy reaction. Or in other words, we can get him to land where we want him to. But where can we get an energy generator we can control? Where do you think we are now? The entire city of Gilgalad is a collection of small factories. If linked, they would form a huge complex with an energy output equivalent to the alchemic plant, also known as Midgar. Because Midgard, uh, Midgar in Final Fantasy VII is based on the same thing that Gilgalad is based off of, which is the, um... Oh, oh Kowloon. There we go. Kowloon? Kowloon? Not sure how to pronounce it properly, but you will use your own country as bait, Double G. I don't intend to let Grassfriend destroy Guild Galad at will. No? Well, will you and Arms stop the nuclear dragon? Remember, Guild Galad Master was a dick earlier, but basically went, oh yeah, I totally horribly screwed up. I will do whatever it takes to as long as you forgive me. This is actually what he's doing. He is allowing his own city to be bait. To be fair, Phil Guy was screwed if Grashvine actually succeeds, so it's not like he's really gambling that much, other than his area will be the first hit instead of the last. Well, of course we will. Guild Galad Master, I am truly grateful to you. Well, look at this. Such humility, how unusual for you. Yeah, well, I'm kind of to blame for all this, so... Besides, as a proud folk guy, I'd be damned if I would go without a fight. See, again, it's all practical. Yes, it's totally his fault, so he's willing to be the one to be the bait. But at the same time, folk guy is screwed, so... Really good. We'll start linking up the Sidri's... Cities, factories together to make our makeshift generator. Which doesn't actually work that way, but whatever. We have no control for an extended period of time, by the way. 
This is going to be a long video, I think. Also, Ashley's been healed. We have absolutely no control over it because we have zero control over anything whatsoever at this point in the game. Our plan against Grashine is beautifully simple. We will lower it with Guild Galad's high energy, then attack before its nuclear reaction. That is it. Luckily, Grashine's rate of descent is relatively slow. We'll move Valeria Chateau to Ground Zero in Guild Galad when your preparations are complete. We only have one chance to succeed, and failure is not an option! Ashley, you will not join us. I forbid you to take part in the battle with Grashine. You understand why, don't you? Do you mean the whole fury thing? That's right. Grashvine is a monster dragon of tremendous power. If you were to confront it, Lord Blazer might awaken within you as a response to its power. I understand. Sorry. I would like to act I would like to act as support until the battle's end. I actually have control. But I don't think I can leave. Even though we defeated Odessa, things haven't gotten any better. This guy is still crazy. Well, what's going to become of Philgaia? I remember something the chief once said. He said that the fight with Odessa was just a warm-up. That arms was formed to combat a much larger global threat. I wonder if the chief knew about this peril. Did he know that the sky would change like this? So I think all I can do is buy stuff at this point. Let's find out if I can actually exit. I mean, I could save here. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Saving here and starting Grush Find the next week. By the way, this is the battle that the commenter was constantly talking about in the comments. The one that I kept warning him about spoilers. Please stop spoiling things. I do have plans. All right, can I actually leave? I don't think I can, but I'm going to try it before we save an exit. Because I don't trust the guide to actually be accurate on this. Nope. We're flying. All right, well, I'm going to call this one here. Get something to drink. And I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Bye!